Hello, good morning and welcome to Unearth Detecting TV. Now it's Easter Sunday and we're out on a brand new farm, never been detected on before, rather excited about this one, lots of land, a mixture of arable and pasture, the detectorists are already out there behind me, detecting away, the sun's shining, it's probably about 8 or 9 degrees at the moment, it's going to get a little bit warmer this afternoon and I'm rather excited about this one so I'll be back with you on the very very first find, let's go and see what comes up. We're here with Shirley first thing and uh, Shirley's only gone and bagged herself a very interesting artifact here in the shape of a Roman snake. Can you see this? Can you see the um, the tail? That's a Roman snake minus its head and it looks to me to be silver so we need to get clarification on that but it's a really nice find. I've seen these come up in uh, before on Roman uh, in Roman areas usually some of them are pendants and coiled this one has been bent a really nice find it would have been lovely with the head on well that's the first very interesting find and what an interesting find as well fantastic well done Shirley I mean we're here with Dean Giggle now and he's just had a sesterce as you can see um, that's got some detail on it as well very nice indeed very very nice not a lot on the other side maybe, maybe a bust but there we go I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk down here to the sun and see if we can get some detail. Yeah, it's lovely that. Lovely coin. Well done to him. Well done, Dean. Technetics T2 as well. Found it. Lancaster next, and he's had a toasted Roman coin. We think. Just going around the edges. No detail on it. Interesting. Just stuff starting to show in the first half an hour. Oh, I've dropped it. Uh, we're here with Tat now, uh, Dave Tat Taylor, and he's had this. Can you see the decoration around the edges? It's definitely ancient, this. This is probably Roman as well. But what's it been? Has it been a, a little brooch? Annular brooch, penannular brooch, which is which? Can't remember which one's got the gap anymore. You can see the, you can see the, the dots around the edges, look. Oh, interesting. Well worth cleaning up and having another look. We marked this morning and he's just had, um, that is a George III shilling. You can just see the 1816 at the bottom. And there you go, a bit worn, but still a lovely coin to find. Lovely to see in the sun. John now and he's had his first ever Roman coin and it's a Japonidus. Look at this. Underneath that dirt is a real cracker. Beautiful. Beautiful coin. Look at that. It could be Titus of Vespasian, possibly. Yeah, that'll take some careful cleaning, a bit of a dry out and a little bit of a light brush, but what a coin that'll be underneath. Fantastic. The Romans were definitely here. Drew Tiffin next, and look at this for a beautiful silver thimble, an early one. I think that's a 1600 silver thimble. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He found it, and just before he found it, I feel like it's got some numbers on there, look, 16. Just before he found it, on his manticore, a bird did that. So he's going to keep it on for good luck. So there you go, but let's just have one more look at this beautiful silver thimble, that's a cracker. That really is. You don't see many of them, you don't, in fact you don't see many at all of that type. Stunning, absolutely stunning. We're here with Phil and he's just had a Roman ring. And there you go folks. Broken sadly by the plough. Uh, I'm just back at the farm now, uh, getting something to eat. I'm going to show the farm finds that are coming back to the car and there you go that would have been a beaut that this for a terrific find with Phil I'm going to turn my back on it look at that someone's initials clearly 
and look at the back. Is it a stamp? Is it a seal? That, that would definitely stamp someone's initials. 100%. It's the back that's throwing me. Solid silver. I don't know what date that is, Phil. We'll get some more information. That's a beautiful find. Absolutely stunning. Uh, here with Joanne next. And she's just had a lovely, lovely big old weight. Look at the size of that beaut. That's got some weight to it. More than likely to be Roman. It's coming up where the Roman coins and bits are coming up. Yeah, nice find that. Well done. Well done, Joanne. We're in with Wayne Wazza, as I call him. The man. The man himself. Wayne Heston King with a 1931 sixpence. And I'm just going to hand you that back. And he's got a, a rather interesting coin here that's been turned into a pendant. It says one skilling, not shilling. Is it skilling with a K or is it a H? It could be a H, it might be my eyes. 1895. But the, the, the king on it, is he the French king? Is it French? Is it, I don't know, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely foreign, mate. Looking at that. Well, what a nice find. How unusual, eh? It is unusual. Yeah, shilling, not one shilling, yeah. So, so ignore what I said with a K, because it looked like a K to me. Anyway, well done, Wayne. Thank you. You are the man. With Joanne now, right. and she's just come over with this really intriguing artifact. I'm not sure what that is. It definitely looks Roman to me. Definitely. Um, can if anybody can identify that and give us some comments in the comments section, that would be fantastic. But just have another look at that. Fantastic. Whatever it's been, it's intriguing. Has it been a fish? Possibly. Fish's head here, tail at that end. That's what I'm going for. Here with Walter now, and he's had the remains of a chain. I'll just get that in the light so people can see it. He's going to now search around the area where he found this to see if he can reveal any more. We're here with Dean now, and he's just had a, a George the Third sixpence. Rather worn, but a welcome find this afternoon. And it's turning out to be a cracking day. More and more finds coming to light on this windy but sunny day. And we're with, um, we are with Lawrence now. And he's had a Roman coin. As you can see, Japonida size. Very nice. You might better clean it up and get something off it, but that is a Roman coin. With Dean now, and he's just come back with a. Uh, when I say come back, come over with um, a Vicky shilling. And it's 1867, there you go. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> For a, num a number of years now, I've always kept in touch with the marshals, with a walkie-talkie, because I'm in one field, they could be in another field, just making sure people are doing what they should be doing and keeping abreast of the boundaries and things. And I've always told jokes down the walkie-talkie and I've never had a response yet. But I've got a cracking joke, and I tell you now, they're going to get a laugh. Get ready. Here we go. Why did the pony want a glass of water? Because he was a little horse. No, I give up. We do, and she's had another weight. You can see that it's got a line across the middle, which would have meant something, I guess. So another way for Joanne, she's doing really well today. With Chris now, and he's had a silver, and you can see William's bust on the on the um, on the silver sixpence, which was probably a love token. There you go, and that's what he got. Excellent, there you go Chris, I'll hand you that back. Thank you very much. I'm here Bubbles. with Danny now and he's just had a clonking big steel yard weight, Roman. That's nice. Yeah, some other some other bits and pieces. That looks like a Georgian coffee pot weight. And that looks to me like a silver shilling in there. Sorry Dan. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. Right, there you go mate. 
that's a great day I'll stick that back in there one more look at the weight happy days nice to see a bit of Roman lead Ben and he's had some finds he's had a Roman coin as you can see needs a little bit of attention but there's something on there that's another Roman coin for today which is good and he's had a silver which is a sixpence of Victoria 1883 possibly and this item here which could be a key with that end broken off or it might not be we might be miles out what could it be who knows well done Ben now or Mickey and he's just had this um, inside that uh, amber coloured glass there's something like a flower or something it's probably been fo formed a part of a fob seal not a fob seal but a fob um, you can just I don't know if I can get the sunlight on it You'll see something in there. I think if he shines a torch in there, you'll probably get what it is. There's definitely something in there. Anyway, still a nice find with Anita now. And she's got this rather interesting artifact. I think it's Roman or British, like a rain guide. Um, but it's got a really strange flat edge on it. There you go. That's an interesting piece. There you go. Nice find from her. Chris Linton now, he's had a little figurine, it's probably Napoleonic, as you can see, with his arms crossed, it looks like he's got a little hat on there. It, I mean, it, could it be Roman? Um, I'm hedging my bets, it's probably Napoleonic. Napoleon himself. There we go. Phil Burrows now, and Phil, because of his wonderful, this wonderful silver seal come stamp, as you can see, look at that, uh, he has won. The team unearthed badge Thank winner. You, mate. Well done, Phil. Cheers, mate. Congratulations, much deserved, mate.